Police in Madison are celebrating after successfully finding a woman with dementia who had been missing since Sunday afternoon. Jennifer Cleasy tells us how 50 recruits helped dozens of officers find her before it was too late. For a second day, police scoured the west side of Madison. We have about five hours of daylight, so we're 24 hours from when she was last seen. Focused on the woods and cornfields near where Amy Rupnow disappeared Sunday. We have a scent from her, from what we can tell, is alerting in this area. Officers with canines, drones and horses not giving up. We exhaust this as much as we can. You know, unfortunately it's cold and we just start running out of... All right, hold on. I got Until good news came by radio. Copy. I'm going to go uh, to channel one to get a medic. <laughs> Lieutenant Jason Ostranga says officers found Rupnow in the woods off Midtown Road. Probably a few hundred yards into the between the corn and the trees and uh, easily almost could physically walk over her on her because there, there's so much leaves and corn and trees. Police say they actually circled the area where Amy Rupnow was found back in the woods several times with a canine. The dogs could smell her, but they just couldn't find her through the thick brush. You can have every fancy camera and fancy this, fancy that, but you need physical manual boots on the ground. Rupnow was taken by ambulance to get checked out. She's conscious, alert, talking briefly. A happy ending after two days of work for dozens of officers. Big smiles. She's alive. People that care for her are here. A lot of smiles. I'm sure there's some tears. In Madison, Jennifer Cleasy, 27 News. Rupnow had walked away from her caregiver while they were out for a walk Sunday afternoon on High Point Road.